What's going on guys, JT here and welcome back to the channel. The past couple of days we've been getting some Halloween teasers by Disney Parks and we got the official announcement today with all the event details for this year's version of the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So let's get right into the article here from Disney itself stating the first addition to the party this year is going to be new costumes for Mickey and Minnie so you can expect them to be wearing these new costumes at the party the second uh, thing they're going to be adding this year's version is going to be more villain sightings so as you guys know from years prior uh, there's definitely more villains to be seen at this event so they're going to be adding even more to be able to get some pictures and interact with around the park which is going to be super cool and a new thing with the movie coming out on July 12th is the Descendants Dance Party. So definitely stay tuned for more information on that. That'll be a pretty cool addition, especially for the kids that are going to be coming out to this event with their families. You'll be able to get a picture with Bruno and Mirabel at the Casita. So Bruno, I think, fits the vibe of the Halloween party perfectly. So definitely glad they're going to be adding him to the party this year. And of course, the Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, which is a fan favorite. A lot of feedback in the past they got was the parade was a little late, especially for families with the little ones. So they're going to be moving it up an hour early each of the two parades so keep that in mind especially if you're looking at tickets that the parade is going to be a little earlier than years prior but of course there's going to be some things they're going to be keeping the same like the fireworks show hosted by jack skeleton uh, the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular stage show will be staying the same. They'll have some trick-or-treating around the parks with different candies for the kids and families uh, to get at the different stations. And of course, one of the cooler things they do is change up some of the rides. Monsters, Inc.'s Laugh Floor will change a little bit. Space Mountain goes completely dark. Uh, the Mad Tea Party will change a little bit there as well. So those are cool additions to the experience at the event. And then, of course, if you got a sweet tooth... They'll have the not-so-spooky spectacular dessert party, which includes the firework viewing from the Plaza Garden or Tomorrowland Terrace, and they'll be able to reserve this experience starting on June 7th. So if you're interested in that little extra uh, reservation with some dessert, definitely keep that in mind. Um, but here's a photo from that stage show that they were talking about here. But I know a lot of you are already planning your fall Disney experience. What are you guys going to be doing? Does this land on some days you're going to be there? And there is a ton of days that they're going to be having this event. So there's a bunch of dates here in August. We got a ton of September and of course the month of Halloween. There's a ton there as well. Um, and you'll be able to start booking this if you're staying on property May 8th. If not, you can start booking it on May 15th. And this does sell out a ton of the dates. So definitely keep that in mind and secure your tickets early if you're already planning on making the parks on any of these days. And of course, everyone loves the merch. So it looks like we have a new spirit jersey here as well as a mug and an ornament for this year's event, which is super cool, especially if you go to this every year to collect the merchandise. But now let's go over to the official page where you'll be able to purchase the tickets in a couple days or weeks, depending on uh, if you're staying on property or not. So let's pop over there. All right, guys, so this is where the tickets are gonna be going on sale for the event. And they have a super cool page with different pictures and stuff to really show you what the night looks like. So here's a photo of last year, the characters on all the costumes. Obviously, we just talked about Mickey and Minnie having new costumes for this year. So that'll be a cool photo op opportunity there. Um, all the event dates and ticket prices will be in here. It looks like it's going to be anywhere from $119 to $199 a person, depending on what day you're going to go. So definitely keep that in mind. It can be pricey, but there's going to be less people in the parks. The wait times for rides are super low, and you get different parades than you usually get. So keep that in mind in that price point as well. And like they said, they'll have the trick-or-treating baskets all around the park. And then the different styles of entertainment, the Boo to You Parade, the Not So Spooky Spectacular. We got the Hocus Pocus Stage Show. There's this Moonlight Melodies as well. And then the different things that really cater to this party is the different attractions, the slight differences they make just for these nights. You have some specialty foods 
and snacks around the parks and of course the merchandise like we talked about that everyone loves you can still get dining so they still have table service like be our guest cinderella's royal table will be offered and the plaza restaurant we talked about the uh, dessert party there that you can book for the show and as always at these different events some pretty cool photo pass experiences all of course catered to the halloween theming which is a lot of fun and last but not least one of my favorite things the dress code gets kind of dropped in regards to costumes for this event so you can definitely dress up with the family it's like a halloween party you'd go to you know in your hometown close to halloween so definitely keep that in mind a lot of people have a ton of fun with it the different outfits and character costumes to wear to this is a lot of fun to see so i think that's pretty cool that disney allows that as well but an awesome job breaking everything down for us disney does here the 2024 event is going to be spectacular they say that this party is the best party that disney has better than the christmas one and some other after hour events as well so keep that in mind definitely worth experiencing but in the comment section below let me know your thoughts and as always make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and we'll catch you guys in the next video peace